Hello, welcome back. The uh, video topic today is cigarette smoking and digestive system. So we all know cigarette smoking is injurious to health. It's really, uh, you know, uh, can cause premature death. It's all everybody knows that it also causes heart disease, hypertension, you know, stroke, uh, lung cancer. Everybody knows. But does cigarette smoking has an effect on the digestive system? Absolutely yes. And uh, what are they? And before that, uh, cigarette smoking. In cigarette, there are about 7,000 chemicals, out of which 250 are very notorious, very dangerous, and out of which 70 can cause cancer. First, you should know, number one. And secondly, uh, smoking, uh, you know, can cause uh, digestive, uh, you know, problems, and it can start even from the mouth. So those people who smoke, they have a dry mouth. So there is less saliva. Saliva is also uh, is very important for the digestion and with a dry mouth your teeth and gums can get all the problems okay the second thing bad breath can happen and third when people think when they smoke uh, it all goes to only the lungs no part of the uh, smoke goes into the digestive uh, into the food pipe and stomach so they can feel bloated they can have a you know burping a lot these things can happen of course and then uh, Cigarette smoking directly increases the amount of acid secretion in the stomach. So when there is an acid secretion is very high, and you know uh, it can cause either acid reflux or even the cigarette smoking can loosen the uh, lower esophageal sphincter. That is a sphincter between the foot pipe and stomach. That sphincter prevents reflux. So this sphincter goes, uh, you know, uh, the, the function of the sphincter is very less. So anything in the abdomen can reflex so when I see food comes it can cause heartburn or GRD and it can even worsen the hydrazenia so the next is when uh, the cigarette smoking uh, increases the acid secretion and also uh, it uh, disturbs or it, uh, it you know uh, uh, breaks the lining of the stomach which, which is a protective lining we have against the acid so this protective lining gets breached so they can get ulcers, peptic ulcers, stomach ulcers, I mean, uh, duodenal ulcers, all these things can happen because of the breach in the protective layer by the smoking. And the smoking also you know, directly can affect the liver. So liver is an organ, has a lot of function. One of the functions is to uh, excrete the toxins. When the liver function is reduced, the toxins can stay within the abdomen. Okay. The other things are all, uh, uh, those smokers have a higher chance of getting gallstones and not only that uh, the Crohn's disease uh, Crohn's disease is an inflammatory uh, small intestine disease it's an autoimmune disease it can uh, you know uh, the smoking can cause as well as aggravate the uh, uh, Crohn's disease and uh, of course next is the very important thing is all the cancers we all know lung cancer can I mean cigarette smoking can cause heart disease and lung cancer but cigarette smoking is directly related to the uh, food pipe ease of its cancer stomach cancer and colon cancers and pancreatic cancers and those smokers you know if they get pancreatitis for some reason uh, the smoking uh, you know prevents the healing so they can take longer time for, for the pancreatitis to settle down so definitely smoking in any form whether it's cigarette bd cigar or you know the hookah some people think hookah is you know natural blah blah no it's equally as bad as cigarette smoking so cigarette smoking can cause from right from dry mouth bad breath bloated feel ulcer uh, can affect the liver function and cause cancers all these things so definitely avoid smoking and stay healthy thank you